Cinderella. Oops. Once upon a time, long ago, in a faraway land, poor Cinderella lived in a lived with her mean step family. They filled her days with cooking, scrubbing, and washing, and chores of every kind. Oops. Look, Cinderella is balancing. Step Cinderella stepmother and two stepsisters Anastasia and Drizella never helped her work, but Cinderella remained cheerful and kind. She made friends with the all the animals she met. Cinderella even made clothes for the mice who shared the, her room, her small attic room. One day, Jack, her favorite mouse, was upset. What's all the fuss about? Cinderella asked Jack. Lead, led her to a new mouse that was cut, caught in a trap. Cinderella quickly freed the frightened mouse. Then she dressed him up in the new clothes and found the perfect name for him, Gus. Ooh, look at Cinderella. When it was time for Cinderella to feed the chickens, the mice headed for the barnyard. Cinderella always saved some corn for them. But today, the mean old cat, the mean old cat Lucifer, blocked their way. Jack was chosen to get to get the to chase him. The other mice could scoot outside. The plan where Jack kicked. The cat and angry Lucifer began chasing him. But Jack was too fast for Lucifer and made it safely into the mouse hole. While Lucifer waited for Jack to come outside, the other mice scampered by him. Cinderella spent the rest of her day attending to do chores. Take that ironing, Drizzler demanded. Don't forget the mending. Anastasia added, pick up the laundry and get on with your duties, her stepmother ordered her. Meanwhile, at the royal palace, the king complained to the grand duke, it's my time, it's time, it's high time my son got married. He sobbed, I want a grandchild, the, the grandchildren. The king decided to hold the ball if all Eligible maidens come, said the king. The prince is bound to find his bride among them. Ooh, look. The royal ball. Later that day, Cinderella heard a knock on the door. Open in the name of the king, said the royal messenger. He handed Cinderella an invitation. When her grandmother read the invitation aloud, Drizella and Est and Anastasia became excited. Each imagine, each imagine the prince falling in love with her. Ooh. Cinderella was also excited. Why? That means I can go too? She said the stepsisters laughed. Every eligible maiden is supposed to end, answered Cinderella. Surprisingly, her stepmother agreed. I don't see why you can't go. If you get all your work done, and if you can find something suitable to wear. Cinderella raced to her room and found a little dress that had belonged to her with a little stitching and she could make it pretty. As Cinderella worked on the dress, her sister's mother and stepsister called for her and gave her many chores to her many chores. Get them done quickly, said the stepmother. When Cinderella had to put the dress aside, her animal friends began to work on it. They gathered beads and sash that the stepsisters had thrown away. Soon they created a beautiful gown. Woo! Look, Cinderella finally finished her chores and went to her room. Then she realized it was too late for to get her ready for the ball. She was so sad. Suddenly, the mice yelled, surprise! They showed Cinderella the, be the beautiful gown. Oh, thank you so much, she cried. But, but 
Cinderella put on the gown and hurried to join her step family. But when her jealous stepsister recognized their old fashioned beads, they tore Cinderella's gown to threads. Cinderella's friends watched sadly as she wept in the garden. It's no use, she sobbed. Nothing will help at that moment bright sparkling light began floating and whirling around cinderella Ooh. poof cinderella's fairy godmother appeared dry those tears she told cinderella you can't go to the ball looking like that but i'm not going said cinderella of course you are replied the fairy godmother she weaved her magic wand over a pumpkin and a regal couch appeared. Oh, it's beautiful, said Cinderella. The fairy godmother waved her wand again. Jack and Gus and two other mice turned into four beautiful white horses. Then she chained the major then she changed Major the horse into a coach driver and Bruno the dog into a footman. Next, the fairy godmother turned Cinderella's torn dress into a beautiful gown in a flash. There were also tiny glass slippers for, for her feet. On the stroke of midnight, the spell will be broken, said the fairy godmother. Everything will be as before. Look at her. The glass slipper. The ball was just beginning when Cinderella arrived. She climbed the long staircase. Oh, how happy I am, she thought. The king and the grand duke watched as the maidens followed for, walked forward to meet the prince. The prince was unimpressed with them all. Then he noticed Cinderella. Entranced. He walked past all the other maidens and led Cinderella into the ballroom. They began to dance. They, they dance every dance until the clock, be, clock oh, began to yeah, start. Yeah. Midnight, bong, bong. <gasps> I must go, Cinderella cried in a panic freeing her hand from the prince as she fled she lost a glass slipper on the staircase the clock sounded as the coach raced from pal pal palace it was midnight the horses were mice again and cinderella were in was in rags but she still had one glass slipper the next morning the prince proclaimed that he would marry the girl who had lost her slipper at the ball. Find her, roared the king. The grand duke would check every house in the kingdom for a maiden. Oops. Kingdom. For a maiden whose foot fit the glass slipper. Cinderella was so happy, she eagerly waited for the Grand Duke's visit. No matter what Gisela and Anastasia ordered to do, she nodded dreamily. Cinderella's stepfamily could not understand the reason of her joy. Then the wicked stepmother realized that it must have been Cinderella who was the prince's favorite at the ball. She locked Cinderella in her room. Let me out, cried Cinderella, but her stepmother put the key in her pocket, laughing her meanest laugh. Then Cinderella heard a knock on the front door. The Grand Duke had arrived. Meanwhile, Jack and Gus had seen what the stepmother did. They took the key out of her pocket and slipped it under Cinderella's door. Downstairs, the Grand Duke watched his footman try to squeeze Anastasia, try to squeeze Anastasia's big foot into the slipper. Of course, the slipper did not fit. Of course, the slipper did not fit Drizella either as she hurried down the steps cinderella heard the grand duke ask are there any other medium in the house medium. please 
maidens in the house. Please wait, called Cinderella. May I try on the slipper? The angry stepmother tripped the footman as he approached Cinderella. The glass slipper shattered. Oh no, moaned the Grand Duke. But do you see? Cinderella reaching into the bucket. I have the other slipper. Quickly, the Grand Duke put the slipper on Cinderella's foot. It fit perfectly. Cinderella was a prince's love. Cinderella married the prince and lived happily ever after. And so did Jack. Gus and all of Cinderella's animal friends. The end. Bye. Okay.